assalamu alaikum my dear students i hope all of you are fine and doing well so topic here we will discuss is inertness of the noble metals so the word inertness is basically derived from the inert gases the simple inert means do not react or inactive or not reactive so the substances that are chemically inert or an inert chemical substance is the one that is not generally reactive means do not have the chemical reaction easily or do not have the reaction at all this substance is known as the inert substance as that word has been derived from the gases which is the group 8a elements these elements are called as the noble gases likewise the noble gases here we have some type of metals that are called as the noble metals because they do not have some specific type of chemical reactions likewise noble gases they are starting from helium neon argon krypton xenon and radon here we have different noble metals that do not react so the reason of in reactivity of these noble metals is this they have their electrons full and they have complete valence shell and they do not gain lose or share the electrons so they are basically inert gases or inactive gases on the other hand there we have like the noble metals that do not react they do not lose or gain the electrons so that's why they are called as the noble metals let's have a look on the examples of the noble metals so basically when we talk about the noble metals or these are also called as the inert metals the first one metal here we have it is gold the second we have it is silver and here we have it is platinum so the symbols for the gold we use is it is au for silver we use ag and for the platinum we use pt these three metals are basically inert metals as well as these are also known as the noble metals now a lot of reasons can be behind here that why they are noble metals and why do not they have reactions with the air why they do not have the reactions with the water or why do not they have reaction with any type of the acid so this is their main property for this season called as the noble metals now what will be the chemical behavior of the noble metals basically the noble metals are the transition metals and they are this behavior just because of the simple reason they are called as the d orbitals elements they are called as d block elements or as well as called as the d orbital elements now what is the specific reason behind this basically the d block elements are called as the transition elements and all these elements are in the process of filling the electrons and they are consisting that group which is called as the transition elements or also known as the d group elements basically they exhibit a variety of the oxidation state because they do not have a fixed oxidation state and the transition elements are basically the group fourth fifth and sixth period group is this and the period number 4 fifth and sixth of the periodic table so there are basically three series which are containing 10 10 transition elements so these transition elements have their simple chemical behavior they have the same chemical behavior like the active metals they react with the other elements so they are reactive on the other hand then we have the second series 
in which we have silver and in third series we have gold and platinum along with the mercury they are not reactive metals all these elements have transition of the electrons or they have variety of oxidation states but the, on the other hand they have not a variety of oxidation state like platinum gold silver mercury and in the first series we have copper they are in reactive metal or they are called as the noble metals because they do not lose their electrons easily when they do not lose the electrons easily it means they are not reactive and we need a very strong substance or the solution to get react with these noble metals when they do not lose the electrons so they are in reactive now what is the reason for the inertness of these noble metals basically they are chemical inert due to the arrangement of the electrons in their valence shell as we have already dis discussed they are called as the d orbital elements because their electrons of the valence shell are present in the d orbital or in the d subshells and they have transition of the oxidation state transition of oxidation state so it's mean they have variety of transition states or oxidation number and the one thing noble metals do not lose electrons easily when they are not going to lose electrons easily it's mean they are chemically inert and do not get oxidize themselves and when they do not get oxidize themselves so we need the strong oxidizing agents for them so the noble metals only react with one substance which is the aqua regia so we will discuss about the aqua regia in detail in the next topic so this was all about today's lecture i hope you guys understand and if you have any queries you may ask me about that in the comment section and i will get back to you guys soon the next topic that we will discuss it is the properties of silver and copper which are called as the noble metals as well for that time you guys keep learning and have a good day